dead end. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. And we're live. Welcome back to part 43 of Marston Mondays, where we free roam with John in epilogue 2. John is back in Strawberry. It's a little early, but he had the idea to call on Abigail. Perhaps not the brightest idea, John. Pretty sure Abigail doesn't want to talk to us right now. I'm your friendly neighbor at Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. She has to be in here. Probably still asleep. But John wants to talk to her. Not exactly apologize, but he wants to explain himself, if he can. Morning, mister. John should probably just apologize, but my policy is to never interfere in anyone's relationships. You have to make your own mistakes. Good morning. How are you, mister? We shall check the locks. And see if there is any roof access. What about up here? Outhouse. John also wants to see Jack. And hey, free fishing pole. We cannot pick it up or interact with it, but that may be because we already have one. We should check with Arthur. He has yet to go fishing with Jack. You know, I'm feeling pretty good about life at the moment. Glad to hear it. Oh well, at least John made an effort. That should count for something. Perhaps he can leave a message at the general store. Really liking the light here in Strawberry. John will take a moment to pose for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow. In addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast related content, and our Discord. Don't move on me, girl. Yep. Morning. Fine morning. However, as long as we are in the neighborhood, we might as well see if there's any work at the sheriff's office. You after a bounty? I can tell. If so, we got a poster on the wall just there. Then I'm in luck. This looks interesting, but 40 bucks hardly seems worth it. Well, well. Bounty poster for Joshua Brown. Wanted $40 reward. Joshua Brown. Wanted alive. The notorious shootist. Wanted for unlawful killings. Brown is of medium build, dark skin, and long mustache. Last known whereabouts was north of Strawberry. V. Farley. All reward claims will be paid from the Strawberry Sheriff Department. Word is he's made a home out of an old mine up in the Big Valley Mountains. 
But you might want to leave that one on the wall. Josh Brown to be a hard man to kill, let alone capture. Morning, and sir. That's what we're asking for. Got half the bounty hunters in the state out looking for him. I want your advice. I'll ask for it, okay? Let's talk to the sheriff and see if we can get some more information. Okay. Joshua Brown. Give it to me. He's a killer. Got away with it for the most part, too. Legal kills. But if you walk that line, you're gonna step over it at some point, and that way he done. If this man's dangerous, why I gotta bring him in alive? He brought us some bounties in the past, and he's always been decent. If you don't want to bring him in breathing, you leave this alone. I figure I know what I gotta do. Stay safe out there. Okay, John is formulating a plan now, and he really likes the symmetry of it. Let's go say hello to Hector. He is a discouraged man. John is certainly feeling discouraged today, after Abigail refused to see him at all. Hey there, come on over. I got something here that might be of interest. What do you got for me this time, Hector? Coach heading to Appleseed Timber. Supposed to be a lot of guns. Might want to catch them off guard. Okay. Thanks. And what does Hector have for us? Coach Robbery Tip. Railway Bridge, north of Appleseed Timber Company. Coach coming west, headed for Appleseed, carrying wages. Cash should be in the back. Expect a couple of guards. Okay, where are we? Let's check the map. And expect a couple guards. I would be very surprised if there are only two guards. Expect a few guards, or even a bunch of guards, would be more accurate. Time to load up on health items. <laughs> and seriously, that rider came out of nowhere. Now John is really mad. Hey. Rachel is okay and that's all that counts. Let's move on. Now we wait for the stagecoach. John is in outlaw mode. Any time now. It's not like John and Rachel are on a schedule, however. I recall reading somewhere that the average video game has something to engage the player occur every 10 seconds, whereas Rockstar will stretch that window out to 30 to 60 seconds.
Okay, here we go. We better check the map. And it looks as if Hector was correct. Two guards. Not counting, of course, the pair inside the stagecoach, I guess. Also, this random rider who was lagging behind. Don't forget about him. There you go. Job done. Hundred and ten bucks. That's more like it. We should let these shires go. They'll make their way back home, perhaps to the Strawberry Stables. Easy. You got this, girl. And we got a witness. We better move on. And we need to right away, hopefully in the general direction of our next location. Oh, partner. Next, we can rebuild our honor with a bounty collection. Okay, we are off to find Joshua Brown, the notorious shootist. We set the marker on the map, which means the game will take us on the scenic route. Another way the game tries to distract us and keep us entertained. However, in John's defense, it's very difficult to straight line it in this terrain.
and the map, Beryl's dream, and what a dream it was. Good work, girl. As usual. Okay, are we ready to do this? Let's go to work. I guess we just walk into the cutscene. Dead in. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me. But you won't beat me, bounty hunter. John was trying to shoot the gun out of his hand and hit his leg. It's just not his day. Goddamn bounty hunting son of a bitch! Damn you! Damn you! But it worked, and we can lasso him now. Okay, that could have gone smoother. Yeah. All right, let's go. <sighs> We're going back to Strawberry. Oh. Let's go for a ride. Ah. Come on, girl. One more time. You shot me. You didn't even have a decency to do it right. You duel a man and you ought to put him down. For a man with a bullet in him, you talk a lot. So before we go back to Strawberry, we should check out this camp. I believe the miner's cap and a wide blade knife is in here. John will come back for it. We don't need to keep that bounty waiting. You wouldn't have got me in my younger days. I would have put one in the middle of your... Take a nap, old man. Let's get Joshua Brown back to town and hear what he has to say. Maybe rough him up a little. That's frontier justice for you. I wish you killed me back there. A real man would have killed me. You kind of regret not killing me. I don't deserve this. I deserve to go out with some damn... And I don't deserve to have to listen to this. That's Big Josh, all right. Hey! He looks heavy. Can we take that bounty off of you? I can manage him fine!
Mind your own damn bounties! Turning back. I guess I'm all yours. Sir! All you other bounty men, you, you make me sick. You got no pride. Just. I don't need to hear it, sir. <laughs> Buddy! Bounty Hunter! Strawberry. I hear the cells here are really comfortable. You trying to be winsome, bounty hunter? Always. I'm a regular charmer. Now come on. Got Brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. Make him comfortable downstairs. me up. Forget about me. Now, leave me to my peace. You hear? I want peace. Pay's right here. You make you work for it? He dealed me. So, I'd say that's a yes. <laughs> Lucky you're still... That's fine. Job done. And much like Tony Stark, John doesn't like to be handed anything, and we shall pick up this cash from the sheriff's desk. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2. My second channel that features more podcast related content, in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews, and also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. A little crime and a little punishment here in Strawberry. Don't tell Abigail. On Mondays, we Marston. I'll see you in part 44. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I up appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. I'm proud of This little John, he's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days.